All right, so I just wanted to demonstrate some of the new features here in Blender, as far as texture painting is concerned. There's just a a slight change of, from my videos, and it's confusing my students. So I wanted to take the opportunity to make a small video, um, how to gauge the update. So I'm just going to paint on this cube, for example. I'll show you some things. So hit tab on the keyboard. And what we have to do is assign UVs to this. Well, in order to do that, we have to grab the edges. I'm going to grab those edges right there. And I'm going to go in here to mark seam. Now I'll hit L. U unwrap. Now in order to see those UVs, you right click here and say split area. And down here below you use UV image editor. Alright, so to start painting on the model, we go to texture paint. And then we assign a channel. In this case, there's a lot of different channels we have now available. But let's go to diffuse color. And click OK. So I can paint white on the model, blue on the model, green on the model. But if I go to object mode, it's not going to show up. In order for it to show up there, you have to end on the keyboard and go to shading, texture solid. Yes, I also have to make sure this is on solid. Then you'll hit tab again to get into edit mode. And you'll come over here and assign that or texture to the model. Now if you are in texture paint and paint any more on it, like this red, and you go back to object mode, it will show up. You can also go over here and paint on the UVs. So I can go like this and do 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 and you can see it pop up over there. But in order to see the UVs you have to be in edit mode. Now I can be in edit mode and paint all day long on it. You are in paint mode, and if you are in paint mode over here, textured paint mode, now you have access to the brushes again. So I can choose blue, and then I can update blue. I can also go to texture. Texture, if I hit new, I get a new texture, over here, that new texture doesn't show up unless you click here. Now you get that texture. I would suggest calling it something like, it doesn't matter what you call it, Bob or whatever. That way you know it's that texture. And then you can use things like um, Bob itself as a type. Let's go clouds, and now I can paint with clouds. And of course, over here, I can paint with clouds. You can also use different brushes, like for example, stroke. You can use one of my favorites is anchored, and it goes like that. That also takes over here and anchored. Anchor is a really great way to just plaster down some textures right off the bat. If you wanted to use an image instead, you can use image or movie. Then you can open the image from, let's say, your desktop. I don't know if I have a lot of good UV or images here, so I'll try something. Now I'm painting with rocks. If I go back to white, I'm painting with the right colored rocks, the ones that I had before. And of course you can paint directly on the model too. You'll see if you, if you paint on the model, you'll get this linear fall off, see the, the UVs? So my suggestion would be go into a front view and you'll see less and less of that because there's a setting over here based on angle. So if you put this angle like 60 degrees, 
and then you put it in the front view, you'll see that it has a, a little bit of a fall off. And you can have up to a 60 degree fall off before it starts getting wonky. I would suggest you keep this as a zero and paint more in an orthographic view, however. And take advantage of painting on the UVs directly. All right, that'll get you started. Uh, the rest is, you know, just exploring, you know, the rest of these settings. But those are the, some of the major ones that uh, are needed to know before you can get it even started by previewing it, by going into the paint modes, and by changing the textures over here. You can do a lot of other things. All right, so hope you enjoy.